Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCD Peters, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a very important software or or a VMS or a or a CCTV CMS named as Cloud Edge on computer or Cloud Edge for PC. So in this video, first we going to discuss that what is Cloud Edge for PC and its feature in detail and its system requirement and after that we go on to our practical part means how you download the particular file and how you install them and finally how you configure them to make a camera live. Our motive is very clear. We all we try to aware the end user that how you how they install the app and make them make a camera for life without any experts. So keep watching till end. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please subscribe if you are a new one. So what the question arises? What is Cloud Edge for PC? This is the one of the best CCTV camera software available in the market for the on with camera to enable the surveillance system user client. This video will provide the detail it related the setup process will provide the CCTV camera. It enables the surveillance camera to access the live on PC as well as on the smartphone as well as on the laptop. So if we are talking about feature then the, it, it's all it's almost same feature as all the other other VMS like get real-time video monitoring, it support the only protocol, playback of the recorded videos and capture snapshot. It, it allows you to control PTZ, it means you are able to pan it and zoom. It also offers you a two-way communications. It detects the motion, it have a people counting, it have a it, it have you, you can check record of your remotely so basically this is one of the famous if you if you think about deep about this software so basically this is xmeye means almost it covered almost the 30 percent of the industry so if you are about talking about system requirement then definitely minimum 160 gb of hard disk required and minimum 3 gb of ram and 4 i processor is much is sufficient for it but you, but the question is it, a, it is a minimum required not the maximum requirement and if you have a good system means you have a core i7 and this kind of latest generation so definitely you you have you, you, have, you are able to view camera more lively than the i3 processors let's so come to our practical point what should you be do that just click on Google Chrome browser or any browser and search for cloud edge on computer or cloud edge for PC and press enter. Here you found uh, my favorite website name is as you all know aware of up this website. Just open the link. When you open the link, just scroll down and here you found that download for windows so definitely my system is windows so i go for i will go for that now click download button now it is downloaded let the download to be finished just click in the, uh, here and click on show in folder and go, it will redirect your download folder and here is download file right click on the downloaded file and click extract when you click extract definitely you find the folder with the same file name just open the folder here you find your installation file or the installer file or .exe file so now you should right click on the application file and click as run as administrator now click yes after that 
select English or whatever you want according to your choice and click next. Again click next. Here it is uh, installed. You will see much installed to this location. If you want to change, you can change by clicking here, here. Just click on the next and again click on the next and wait for a few seconds. Once it is successfully installed, you get the successful notification. Now click finish. Now your software is installed. Now go, go to your desktop to you find the this CMS. Now when you click, it will ask you to, for language. So definitely I will go for the English. You can choose according to your, according to your region and area. Just click OK. Here the password is blank. Just click on the login. Now wait for a few minutes and it is down, it is open. This is the interface of the software. Here you you you, you get the prompt or notification or message that device is empty. Add your device, system device manager, please. Okay, so what should you do? You just click on this system, and after that, you should click on the device manager. Here, the first thing you should do, without this, it's not going to be, you, you can't do anything. Just click add area, any, you can take anything like test area or whatever you want. And after that, click OK. And just click on this test area. Now, you see that this add device is enabled. Again, when you click on this, it disable. When you click on this, it's enabled. So just click on this add device option here you find the two option IP search it means that some uh, when your laptop PC or and your NVR or IP cam whatever you are adding it's on the same network then it then you see when then it when you click on the IP search it will automatically detect so just here when I click so if my if it is connected then it will definitely shown above but in my case I want it it's it's not detected so I just go for the another option another option is that I should do it by my, by my own it's been by manually so here you find a lot of option if you want any remote connection by using cloud ID you should click this here you should enter the cloud ID so in my case I use my local IP so I just click ok so I use I enter my ID IP here and it asks for port number so it is basically Here I put my port number. This is the port number of device means DVR, NVR, whatever you are doing. Now it asks for this is the username. This is the username of the IP device means DVR, NVR. Again the same rule for the password. So it is the password of the DVR, NVR, whatever I am adding. So here I put my password and just click OK. When I click OK, again click OK. Here my it, it, it will detect my NVR or DVR and here you get the successful notification message that this device is online connect successfully ok so here I just click on my cam it is open now you find that the camera is live ok so thanks for watching once again please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one